What have you learned about technologies from the process of construction of the product? The form of technology I've used to create my magazine is Adobe Photoshop. This piece of software has allowed me to create a realistic magazine opposed to that of one created in basic software such as Paint. This is because it is one form of software that is used by actual magazine companies to put their magazines together. By using Photoshop there is an endless range of features available to me. A key aspect is being able to cut an image out allowing me to use it in all different forms throughout my magazine. The picture effects I've used with brightness and black and white are a lot more detailed by using Photoshop. This has allowed me to give the images of my magazine fantastic effects that can be used to capture the interest of my audience. One of the most important aspects of Photoshop in creating a magazine is using text wrapping, which allows the text to be wrapped around the picture in columns and fill all the available space to use. This allowed me to avoid having unappealing blank spaces and appear professional as a real music magazine would. Found your hairband on my bedroom floor The only evidence that you've been there before And I don't get waves of missing you anymore They're more like tsunami tides in my eyes Never getting dry, so I get high Smoke away the days, never sleep with the light on Weeks pass in the blink of an eye And I'm still drunk at the end of the night I don't drink like everybody else I do but to forget things about myself Stumbling full with the headspin I got My mind's with you, but my heart's just not So am I close to you anymore? It's over And there's no chance that we'll work it out A useful piece of technology I've benefited from is YouTube. By being such a large video hosting site, I easily found tutorials on how to create special effects on Photoshop that I would have never been able to do without watching. Even though a lot of these effects didn't make it into my final edition of magazine, they have still been greatly beneficial for future use. It has also been a very useful way in which I have hosted my own tutorials that I have created for my blog. Blogger and its simple interface have made it very simple to allow me to create a professional portfolio of my work. It also allows me to share my work with peers and get easily and quickly marked with helpful feedback from a teacher. In publicly open this has allowed me to see my peers work throughout the process. I find this is a key resource for inspiration and motivation when it comes to creating an effective magazine. Other popular sites such as Google and Wikipedia have allowed the way in which I conduct a preliminary research to be simple and effective. A simple piece of hardware in my webcam has allowed blogging about my process throughout the course to be much simpler by filming myself directly in video blogs instead of doing countless text blogs. 
This has allowed the range of media displayed on my blog to vary and keep it interesting and demonstrating my abilities in different aspects of media. Another really useful piece of software that allowed me to make some effective videos, especially tutorials and explaining how I manage certain things on the computer is Cam Studio. In order to edit my videos and create a final piece, I use Adobe Premiere CS3. This software is a lot more detailed and specific than basic programs I had used before, such as Windows Movie Maker. It allowed me to brighten video, which was very useful for one such instance, in which my footage had come out overly dark. I was also able to overlay other videos, pictures and sounds. Overall, it allowed my work to appear a lot more professional and also once I had learned the basics, was reasonably simple to use. I hosted a lot of my PowerPoint, Word and PDF documents using an online site called Scribd.com. This enabled them to be saved online and embedded into Blogger simply with an effective appearance. Although PowerPoint is a very useful tool for all presentations, another online program I used was Prezi. It is also a presentational device, but with a very different concept. Instead of multiple slides, it is one canvas with all information is displayed on, with paths used to jump from part to part. This gave a professional appearance and also excitement, which once was another boring presentation. However, to me, the most important piece of technology towards my progress in the project is, in my opinion, the camera I used to take all my pictures. The camera I chose was a Canon 550D DSLR, which is my preferred type thanks to its simple interface and reliability compared to other branded cameras such as Nikon. By being digital straight away, this gave me an advantage over past students who would have had to use a film camera, whereas instead of being able to take as many photos as I wanted, and check them on the spot, I would have had to buy a film with about a maximum of 20 photos on that I wouldn't have been able to see until after they were developed. After this, I would have had to scan them into a computer, making the whole task a lot more time consuming and expensive. Having bypassed this problem by simply using a digital camera, I was able to have full control over my photos. I conducted three different photo shoots, one being in a studio and two being one location. Starting with my studio, I set up a white backdrop light by interfit portrait photography lighting. By having trigger lighting on, this brought the lighting on only when I took the photo, giving a professional look and effect to my photos. For this shoot, I used an 18 to 55 mm 4.6 aperture lens, which enabled detailed photos and a wide range of possible angles to access. Next, I set up an identical camera on the tripod focus on the set. I then hooked this up with an interval meter, which enabled me to create a time lapse of my whole photo shoot. However, for my location shoots, I used a 50mm 1.8 aperture lens with polarising filter. This lowered aperture caused the camera to only focus on the model in the foreground, giving a blurred effect upon the background. This caused these photos to look my most professional and really boosting the overall outcome of my magazine.